Good morning, Lakeville South, and welcome to Southside for November 6, 2020. I'm Matt Flynn. And I'm Blake Martin. We have a great show for you today with stories from the National Honor Society, how students are dealing with hybrid learning, and the football team. Like everything in the world around us, our National Honor Society has needed to make major changes due to the pandemic. Corey gives us more information about NHS. With the NHS induction ceremony coming around the corner, Let's hear how COVID-19 has impacted their year. Obviously, COVID-19 has had a really big impact on the way we can function this year. For example, we cannot hold an in-person induction. This year, it's going to have to be a virtual uh, ceremony. So what we'll probably do is something similar to what they did for graduation in the spring, where we'll get a picture of each of our inductees and put together a little video for them to have. Let's hear about some NHS events that are happening this year. We have been approved to hold our blanket tying event. One event that I'm looking forward to for this year is the blanket tying event. We do this event every year and it's always a ton of fun and super beneficial and we're hoping that we get to do more projects like that. One event that the NHS members hold annually is the sponsored food drive. Let's hear about when this is taking place. October 19th through the 30th. It's going to be a two-week one this year because of kids only being here uh, two times a week, so we've extended it to a two-week time frame. The LSHS Food Shelf is always looking for personal care items, um, snack type items, uh, things like that, uh, canned meats. I hope the members of NHS have a great upcoming year, and I hope the food drive is successful. This is Corey Clays reporting for the South Side. Thanks, Corey. Thanks to everyone who donated food for the food drive, and thanks to NHS for giving back to our community. We made it through one quarter of hybrid learning. We at least spent some time with students and teachers to learn how they have adjusted to a school year that looks very different from last year. In this story, we get a little bit of insight about how students and staff feel about in-person school this year. First, let's listen to some things that seniors missed from the past few years and things that they wish they could change about this year. Being able to have uh, our like sports activities um, on the normal times of the year, including football, because then we'd have homecoming. I would say the only things I don't like are we have to wear masks all the time, and I don't really hang around my friends a lot. We have to be very apart, which is not very fun. As you can see so far, there are a few things that students don't like about this year, but let's look at some things that are going well. Social distancing is tough. Even in classrooms, they kind of want to move next to their friends in order to do their work. Or when we see kids in hallways, they're usually a little closer than is suggested. Um, but for the most part, students are doing pretty good. I prefer the layout of the week we have now. I honestly love being at home and being able to do my schoolwork at home. It's very flexible for me and I can get it all done at one time instead of having to wait. Hopefully from this video you were able to get some insight about how students and staff feel about this year. Reporting from the South Side, I'm Lily Wilson. Thanks Lily. We hope everyone has a successful second semester as we transition into distance learning. It's been a busy fall athletic system with great performances by girls tennis, boys and girls cross country, girls swimming, and boys and girls soccer. The volleyball and football teams started late and are still playing. Jay spent some time with the football team to learn more. Recently, Lakeville House football season has been moved back to the fall after an early decision to move it to the spring. Uh, I haven't noticed any change. Our coaches have been preparing us just like a regular season, whether it be in the spring, the fall, the winter, the summer. We're going to be practicing the same all the time. However, because of COVID, the season will look a lot different this year. With only 250 fans allowed in each game and a possibility of no state tournament. I mean, it kind of sucks, but we're just grateful to be able to play. It's better than nothing at all. We still have sections and stuff. Due to COVID, there are also new protocols that the team now has to follow. Well, we have to take COVID precautions, right? So just like at school or just like any place you go, we ask our kids to bring masks to practice. We have to stay socially distant so they're in different groups. Um, and we have to sanitize all our gear and everything like that. So it's pretty revolutionized everything we do, uh, but our kids have adapted well. At the late start to the season, and all the new rules added because of COVID, the players still remain optimistic for how the season will turn out. I mean, 
Hopefully we can ride it out the whole six games. I missed a single one. If so, if so, we got a good chance of going the whole way. I'm Jada Bartos, wow. reporting for the South. Make him work. Go. See it. Here you go. Thanks, Jada. Good luck to the football team as they finish the regular season and prepare for the upcoming playoffs. That's all we have for you this week. We'll leave you with a short movie created by Keely Showquist in film analysis class. Thank you for watching. Bye. Oh, <laughs>